So, ladies and gents, I've been doing a lot of talking recently about why VATSIM is the best virtual air traffic network to get yourself onto and the mistakes that you're making on VATSIM. What I've not actually done is sit down and walk you guys through the things that you need to do to get started on the VATSIM network this year. Now, in this video, we're not going to cover the things that you need to do when you have already set up an account and you have access to the VATSIM network through your simulator. I'm going to walk you through the simulators that are supported on VATSIM sim the simulators that you can use i'm going to walk you through the new member orientation test setting up a vatsim account and downloading and installing the software that you require and the software that i recommend for the vatsim network now depending on which simulator you use will depend on the software that you need to use later down the line to connect to the vatsim network but what i'm going to do now is tell you the simulators that are supported on the network microsoft flight simulator 2024 microsoft flight simulator 2020 X-Plane 12 and X-Plane 11, P3D, alongside some other old simulators, and you can find those simulators on the approved software section of the VATSIM website, vatsim.net. Now, I've already broken down for me which simulator I think is the best for this year. And I think it is safe to say that the older simulators that are supported on the VATSIM network, such as FS2004, are not really worth discussing. Now that you have chosen your simulator whether that be microsoft flight simulator or x-plane or p3d we need to head to the vatsim website and set you up an account now setting up an account is incredibly easy all you need to do is head to vatsim.net and as you can see on screen now you click create an account and you fill out the details that are requested of you and once you've done that you will be directed to a dashboard page which looks something like this now, when you are on the dashboard, you want to head down to the section which says new member orientation course. Click that button and it will bring up a page that looks something like this. Once you have opened that link, you will get access to course content. And this course content, I highly suggest that you go through and study to make sure that you know the answers to the quiz, because in order to pass, you need at least 80%. However, if you don't score that 80% score, you can retake this test in an hour's time. If you fail the test multiple times, you don't need to worry. You can just continuously complete this test over and over again until you get above 80% as there is no restriction on how many times that you can fill out this test. The only problem that you'll find is it's going to take a lot of hours if you continuously fail. Now, when you have filled out that test and you have completed it and you've got your score above the 80% mark, you can go ahead and download the software that you need to fly on the vaccine network. And that is what I'm going to talk about now. I'm going to first talk you through the mandatory pieces of software, and then I'm going to do a little section where I talk about the pieces of software that I recommend to make sure that your flight experience on the vaccine network is top notch. Now, this may seem pretty obvious to you, but to fly on the VATSIM network, you're going to need a pilot client. Now, for me, the pilot client that I would use because I fly on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 would be vPilot. However, if you fly on X-Plane, you will need to download a different piece of software called X-Pilot. But for P3D, you can make use of that vPilot software. So if you have both P3D and Microsoft Flight Simulator, you're pretty lucky because it means you don't need to take up even more storage space. You can just simply reuse the vPilot client. Now, your pilot client is the only piece of mandatory software that you require to fly on the VATSIM network. Now, if you're not interested in any of the software that I talk about next, you can go ahead, scroll down and have a look at the video that I've linked in the description. In that video, I talk about VATSIM, I talk about IVAO, and I decide with data which network is the best out of the two. If you're concerned about what you're going to need to do to actually fly on the VATSIM network, I also recommend checking out that video linked down below because there's something special that is linked there and it is perfect for you. Now, we're going to talk about the software that I recommend. We're going to sort this software into two categories. Now, category number one is the software that you can get for free. And you guessed it, category number two is the software that you have to pay for. We'll start with paid software because there is literally only one piece of paid software that I recommend for the VATSIM network, and that is 
Navigraph. You need Navigraph to fly on the VATSIM network because they have recently made it mandatory for you to have the most up-to-date AIRAC. And an AIRAC is the navigational data that your aircraft uses to essentially fly from one airport to the next. If you don't have an up-to-date AIRAC, you can find yourself in trouble because controllers are going to be telling you to route direct to different waypoints or fly certain SIDs and STARs. If you don't know what a SID or a STAR is, check that video out down below. There's something for you linked in the description there. So it's imperative that you have an up-to-date AIRAC. Now, the reason that I recommend Navigraph for your AIRAC is because Navigraph doesn't just give you the most up-to-date AIRAC. It also gives you access to charts, which again are going to come in handy on the VATSIM network. When you're on the ground and a controller is telling you to taxi to a certain place via different taxiways and different holding points, it is imperative that you know where you are going. Navigraph charts will help you out. However, if you don't want to use Navigraph, and I highly suggest you use Navigraph, you can make use of a piece of software called ChartFox, which I'm going to talk about in the free software section. Now, let's talk free software and the free software that I recommend. Number one, number one is VATSIM Radar. VATSIM Radar is essentially a piece of software which allows you to see other aircraft on the VATSIM network that are connected up, their flight plans, who's flying that aircraft, their call sign, and where they are in proximity to you. Now, if if we would have filmed this video a few years ago when VATSIM radar wasn't a thing, I would have recommended to you a piece of software called VATSPY instead. VATSPY essentially serves the same purpose as VATSIM radar, but instead of being a website, it is a piece of software that you download to your computer. However, it is a lot less advanced and it is a lot older. So some of the functionality that you can find on VATSIM radar will not be found on VATSPY. The next piece of software that I recommend is kind of VATSIM related but not really and it is a piece of flight tracking software. You can either pick Volanta or Elevatex. Elevatex is a relatively new piece of software that essentially serves the same purpose as Volanta. For me, there's not really a difference between the two of them. Both serve the same purpose. So again, have a look at both the websites and make your decision as to which one you would like to download, if any. Now, one thing that you are going to need, and I know this is optional, but I highly recommend you download it, is some model matching. Now, in order to see aircraft as they should be seen, seen on the VATSIM network, you're going to need to install some model matching software. In the description, there is a document and on that document, I have listed all of the software I've spoken about so far. And I'm also going to link two free pieces of model matching software and they are FSLTL and AIG model matching. Now, I personally use AIG model matching. However, FSLTL is the newer out of the two, but it is slightly heavier on performance. So that is something that you need to bear in mind. And that is it. Those are the software that I recommend to you. That's how you sign up and get started on the VATSIM network. If there's any software that you think I have missed, leave a comment for me in the description and tell me which software you think I should have included in this list and why so you can help out our fellow aviators who are getting started on the VATSIM network. That is all. Safe flights as always.